Well, welcome back everyone to another photography adventure. Uh, today I'm out of Belleville Community Park, uh, located in Belleville, Wisconsin. Uh, gonna try to get some amazing compositions along this cute little trail here. Oh, so came across this just absolutely beautiful composition. I'm hoping I can get this to work out. I'm gonna have to shoot this very much above my head and hold the camera up really high to be able to get this to work. All right, there's this kind of dry grass in the foreground and then there's these little pools that some rocks are creating at the uh, beginning of the river and then the river just kind of winds off through the frame. Uh, so definitely gonna try to get this as a 16-9 composition because uh, I think it will just be an absolutely gorgeous shot and you know if all works out you might have already seen it because it's probably going to be my thumbnail if it works. Uh, so first things first, want to change the aspect ratio on my camera just to make sure that I have this 100% good. And let's make sure the strap doesn't blow in it. Okay, and shot a burst of 25 shots, so hopefully one of these is going to turn out sharp and in focus because it's really windy out here and that was really high above my head and unstable. So after some editing, hope you enjoy. Uh, so a little bit farther down the trail at this absolutely beautiful park. Loving this little hike. Uh, if you're in the area, I definitely recommend it. It's thoroughly worth it. Uh, but as you'll notice, I had to break out my tripod. And if you want to see what I use, definitely be sure to check out my gear review channel. I'll throw a link up in the corner right now. Uh, but the reason I needed my tripod is uh, the sun is starting to set, so I needed to turn on exposure bracketing to be able to you know, actually get a good shot. I don't think I'm going to get one without it. Uh, so on a few I can stack for an HDR or just pick whatever works the best because I'm losing all the detail in the sky. Uh, so what I've got going on is a 4.3 composition. I'm at f9 ISO 100 and it looks like my base, I or my base shutter speed is 1 80th of a second. Uh, so I've got uh, just this gorgeous foreground kind of like weaving through. Well, I guess it's not gorgeous, it's more like dead foreground, but it's really just adding to the shot. And then the river is kind of disappearing off in the upper left corner. Uh, so we're gonna try to focus this at infinity. I think that's probably the best way to go for this. And on a two second timer. And I'm gonna take a couple just to make sure I get something good. Okay, well here's hoping one of those turned out. Uh, I'll definitely let you know what I ended up doing with it in the notes, but uh, yeah, hope you enjoy.
Uh, so we found this little Eagle Loop Trail. Looks like it's the Belleville Commu Conservancy or something. Not 100% sure, but when you find a little, like, trail off the path, you know, sometimes you gotta try it out. And not too far down this, I came across this little puddle with a bunch of sticks and some still green grass in it. And, you know, you can think I'm weird, but I think it's a really pretty shot. Uh, so I made sure to get the camera really low down for this one, and I've got it angled downwards to just completely fill the frame with the little puddle thing. And I'm gonna definitely make sure to do this with exposure bracketing, because I really want this to turn out. Okay, so I had to restabilize my tripod a little bit there, because it was wobbly and my camera was about to fall over. Uh, so now that I got this recomposed, I... Due to the fact that I'm using a 28 millimeter lens, there is no way to get all of the shot in focus. Uh, so I'm going to shoot a couple different focus points, uh, probably like foreground, mid, and then one at infinity. I, I might use one of the foreground focused ones, or I might focus stack this, but I definitely want to shoot the extra ones just to give myself the choice. So... With that being said, gonna start taking these pictures. Okay, so I have a good feeling about this. I do a bit of editing on these and you'll know what happens before I do. So while walking along this Eagle Loop Trail, came across this really unique composition. i going for something I don't normally do, and it's extremely minimalistic. Uh, but I still like it, and going to try something different because it's always a good thing to do. So what I've got going is uh, we came across this little dock. There's not really much here, but across the way there is just gorgeous reflections happening in the water. Uh, so I'm shooting a 16 by 9 composition, and what I'm going to try to do is uh, get the water line just right at the center point of the photo, and then I'm going to try to make even amounts on both sides, the trees and the reflection. Uh, so I'm going to shoot this with exposure bracketing because I definitely want to do HDR for this one. And... Uh, so it looks like I'm at F9, ISO 100, 1 of a second. Sophie. No. Sorry, everyone. The, we got the dog with, and my microphone's broken, so, you know, every now and then, my bad for the little doggy whimpers. She just wants to play. Uh, but so, in that spirit, gotta actually take this picture. And try one more time just for safety, because my focus point was somewhere weird. Okay, and there we go. Should have hopefully gotten a good shot. So after turning this into HDR and doing some really fun post-processing, here's the final result. Well, thank you for joining me on this gorgeous day. I hope you've enjoyed the adventure. And if you have, definitely, as always, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And hopefully, I will see you on the next one.